in this video let's learn about construction of triangles we have four different types of triangle constructions let's get started with sss triangle construction here we are asked to construct triangle when the measurements of the sides are given for example let's say we have to construct a triangle abc with ab is equal to 6 cm bc is equal to 5 cm and ac is equal to 7 cm as a first step let's draw the given triangle roughly marking the measurements here we see a rough sketch of the triangle abc with its measurements not to scale now let's first construct the base of the triangle bc so draw a line segment of length 5 cm using your ruler and mark it BC. Next, we know that AB is equal to 6 cm. So, with B as the center and the radius as 6 cm, draw a small arc. Then, we also know that AC is equal to 7 cm. So, with C as the center and radius as 7 cm, draw another arc in such a way that it intersects the previous arc. This point of intersection is point A. Finally, we join AB and AC to obtain the triangle in question. AB is equal to 6 cm, BC is equal to 5 cm and AC is equal to 7 cm. Now we move on to SAS triangle construction. In order to construct a triangle using the SAS condition, we need to have the lengths of two sides of the triangle and the included angle. Let's see how we do it using our example. Construct a triangle ABC with AB is equal to 4 cm, BC is equal to 6 cm and angle B is equal to 50 degrees. As a first step, let us roughly sketch triangle ABC marking the measurements of the two sides and the included angle. Now, to get started, let's draw the base of the triangle, a line segment BC with length 6 cm. Second step, we'll construct the angle B. So, using your protractor, draw a ray BX with angle XBC is equal to 50 degrees. Now we know that our point A has to lie on this ray BX. But where exactly? From our question, we know that length AB is equal to 4 cm. So with B as the center and radius as 4 cm, let's draw an arc on the ray BX. This point of intersection is point A. So we'll join A and C, which will complete our triangle ABC with the given measurements. Now we move on to ASA triangle construction. ASA stands for angle, side and angle. To construct a triangle using the ASA condition, we need to have two of its angles and the included side. Let us understand better with our example. Construct triangle ABC with BC is equal to 5 cm, angle B is equal to 75 degrees and angle C is 45 degrees. As our first step, we will draw a rough sketch of triangle ABC with the given measurements. Now let's draw the base. BC is a line segment of length 5 cm. Next, let's draw a line BX such that angle XBC is 75 degrees. Similarly, let's draw another line CY such that angle YCB is 45 degrees. Now, the lines BX and CY intersect at a point this point is marked as A and ABC 
becomes our triangle with the given measurements. Next, we move on to RHS triangle construction. In our first example, we have two sides and one right angle given. Construct triangle ABC with AB is equal to 3 cm, BC is equal to 4 cm and angle B is equal to 90 degrees. As usual, we draw a rough sketch of triangle ABC with the given measurements. Now, let's draw line BC with a length of 4 cm. This is the base of the triangle. Next, we draw a ray BX such that angle XBC is 90 degrees. Now, we know that side AB is equal to 3 cm. So, with B as the center and the radius as 3 cm, let's draw a small arc which cuts the line BX at a point and this point is marked as A. Finally, we draw a line connecting points A and C. This gives us the required triangle. Let's try out one more example with RHS triangle construction. Here we are given two angles and the length of one side. Construct triangle ABC with BC is equal to 6 cm, angle B is equal to 90 degrees and angle C is 45 degrees. First we do the rough sketch with the given measurements. Then we start constructing the triangle by first drawing the base BC of length 6 cm. Now from the question we know that angle B is 90 degrees. So as our next step let's draw a line BX such that angle XBC is 90 degrees. Also angle C is given as 45 degrees. So let's draw another line CY such that angle YCB is 45 degrees. Now we can see that lines BX and CY intersect at a point. This point becomes A and the triangle thus formed ABC is of the given measurements. If this video has helped you learn triangle constructions, give it a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.